So I think Scott has a theme going this week because we've talked about sea breezes and now tonight he's going to take us back to the beach. <laughs> Do you think there's something going on in his world? Back that to we the should, beach. Yeah. Wasn't that a movie? Well. <laughs> Beaches. That's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie. Well, <laughs> I'm certainly not going to sing if that's what you want. Oh, that's not yeah, going to happen. That's no. okay. You don't need to. But the theme is beaches because it's summertime. It's hot outside. We want to cool things down and maybe somebody's heading to the beach. And I grew up on the ocean. And I was always fascinated by high tide and low tide, up in the mid-latitudes anyway. And so why are there tides? If anybody you've been to the beach, you see there's times when the water's higher, there's times when the water is lower. And it all has to do with gravitational pull between the Earth and the moon, and also the Earth and the sun, and the three as they work together. There's a lot of moving parts here, all kinds of different angles and whatnot, but basically all objects will pull, have a gravitational force together. The larger the objects, the more noticeable it is. The sun's gravitational pull on the Earth is about 178 times times the size of the moon or the strength of the moon but because it's so far away the actual gravitational pull of the moon between the moon and the earth is actually twice as much as the sun so what's happening is here's the ocean see this blue right here see how it bulges out because there's a pull from the moon and so as the earth spins through that bulge there you have higher water for uh, over a six hour Basically, it'll go every six hours. You get high tide, then low tide, then high tide, and then low tide. And then there's a couple times during a full moon. I always remember this. You get what's called a spring tide, and that's when you've got the earth. The moon is here, the earth is here, and the sun's exact opposite. So you have a full moon right there, and then you get the pull actually more of a gravitational pull pulling that ocean so you get a bigger tide and so the tides are more extreme during the time what's what we call a spring tide uh, once a month during the full moon again during the new moon as well if you've got the moon at a right angle it changes the gravitational pull and you get tides that don't have as much of an extreme so it has to do with the moon and the sun and the earth that's why we have tides if you've got a question or if you've got photos you want to send them to me you can reach me at weather at fox9now.com so when you head to the beach you get your feet in the sand, you can think about that. I haven't been there in a long time. Gotta yeah, back time to, to go. Beach. Scott, you are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> sing Blue Moon. Later. <laughs> I am not going to sing. All right. All right, tonight, Facebook wants.